There are many things you need to do to set up your Shop360 store, but there's always one favorite topic, the logo. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can upload and edit your logo, icons and fav icon in your Shop360 store. Have fun! Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Alexander from Shop Studio and let's get started with this tutorial. I'm currently located in the storefront and the goal is to change all the logos and icons. For example, this logo here on the top left side and the icon, the fav icon in the top. There's also an app and share icon used for example if a customer adds uh, this shop to his favorites, for example, on the iOS or smartphone. So basically, this is like a replacement for the icons you know from you know the App Store. It looks like a real app then. As always, we have to go to the Shopper 6 administration. I'm currently located in the dashboard now, but we have to go to the theme settings. You can find this theme settings under Sales Channel. Now you have to open your Sales Channel, and here is a tab called Theme. You click on it. In my case, it's the default theme. We edit the theme now. And it really depends on your theme settings where the settings are placed for the logos and icons. In this particular case, it's just on the bottom. Now you can see that you can, for example, upload a logo for your desktop version, for your tablet version, and for the mobile version separately. In case, for example, you have maybe problems with um, space. You can upload your app and share icon. And here you can see the fav icon. Just one tip for the fav icon. You don't need an .ico file. Basically, you can upload in PNG or JPEG too. Shopware converts it to the necessary format. All the necessary files are uploaded now. The next step is to click on the Save button, of course. Let's check out the result. We go now back to the demo store, the storefront. We refresh the page. And now we can see our $1 million logo, a blue star with my logo as a label. And here you can see that the fav icon has changed too. That's it for the tutorial. In case you haven't done it, do not forget to subscribe to the channel or leave a comment or review below. We see us in the next tutorial. Bye.